It's Memorial Day weekend, folks. And let me tell you, squirrels definitely on the menu. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Beer Business Bureau. So today we're going to be doing a beer by Smog City. It's a brewery down in Torrance, California, which is hyper local to me, but also hyper local to my heart as well. It's one of my favorite all-time breweries in the South Bay of Los Angeles. And this is the uh, Sabertooth Squirrel. It's an American amber style ale with 7% ABV and a whole lot of flavor. So let's do this. The Sabertooth Squirrel by Smog City is a delicious American amber ale with a roasted malt profile at 7% alcohol by volume. It's got toasty caramel notes, a rich, fruity and resinous body, and a bitter finish that doesn't offend the palate. If you're craving for a medium body malty delight, this amber is a must have. It's that good. I guess I was shooting in the penalty box with that cap that I just did. Oh, well, it's leaking. Oh, shit. So, yeah, I'm trying to pull this slowly because it's giving me a ton of head, but pretty much any amber ale I've ever had has always had a ton of head. Okay, so while that was a little arduous, and as you can see, I've spilled some here. I guess it's the design of the bottle. I don't know. Ah, toasted caramel. Wonderful, complex, roasted body. I can smell some resin. Uh, kind of piney, I guess piney resin. Yeah, this is going to be great. On the tip, you've got some toasted caramel and some really good roasted malt characteristics, which is check number one. Number two, in the middle, you've got some really nice, robust, just uh, rich fruit characteristics, which is check number two. <laughs> number three, this wonderful bitter but still smooth and just warm finish it's it's what an amber ale should be i don't know what kind of hop variety it uses because it does have a pretty substantial fruit characteristic but then again we don't really drink ambers for their hops right we drink them for the malts and just how well they, they have that roasted caramel toasted caramel characteristics okay so forgive me for indulging in this wonderful concoction of water alcohol barley malt and all sorts of caramel and sugar the color of course is caramel sort of uh well now i'm taking the glasses off you can see it a little bit clearer got this wonderful caramel dark amber color so let's take a look at the artwork so we have one of the cutest furriest prehistoric animals that could have ever walked the face of the earth. So you have a saber-toothed squirrel holding this enormous bud of hops, um, looking uh, super adorable. Kind of looks like Bubsby. I don't know if you guys remember, oh, you guys are probably either too young or too old to um, really know what Bubsby was. Bubsby was a Sega Genesis game back in the day, back in the early 90s. It's kind of got the ears like that, also the eyes. Uh, <laughs> it takes me back to my childhood just a little tiny bit. It's befitting of this bottle. I know they also have another beer called Grape Ape and uh, some other really creative names. So you know how I finished all my beers during this entire filming process? I'll admit, not all of them I actually really enjoy finishing. This is one that I'm going to enjoy finishing from top to bottom. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do that, but I'll continue talking just a little bit more just because I like to have conversations with you guys. So I just want to give a shout out to two of my favorite people at Smog City, Ryan and Josh. You guys are amazing. Uh, I'm Ryan, I have you on Instagram and on Facebook. You're going to get a first-hand account of this before it actually goes public. And Josh, the next time I see you, I need to exchange numbers and also exchange uh, social media. Lots of great times to be had and lots of great beers to be drank. Um, drunk? No, drank. What is it? Is it drink or drunk? Lots of good beers to consume. There. I've redeemed myself. Anyway, cheers.